To understand the objectives of service strategy, let's first understand what is strategy. The word comes from Greek and means art and science of using all possible resources to achieve certain military goals. In IT service management, it takes a different sense, of course, but the underlying theme is the same. In the context of IT service management, service strategy is used by service providers to do two main things: to attain market focus, such as where and how to compete, and to distinguish capabilities, so as to demonstrate the value provided to the business. The service strategy of any service provider must be grounded upon a fundamental acceptance they buy the satisfaction. Of particular needs, therefore, to be successful, the services provided must be perceived by the customer to deliver sufficient value in the form of outcomes that the customer wants to achieve. For example, when a customer, say for example you, approach a telecom company, are you looking to buy a phone or maybe an unlimited talk time plan? That well may be the finished product. But what is your basic and particular need? It is to communicate with another person, across distances and any time of the day. And if any telecom company overlooks these needs of a customer, they will soon be out of business. And this is the reason why telecom companies are not called telecom companies anymore; they are called communications service providers. Achieving a deep understanding of customer needs, in terms of what these needs are, and when and why they occur, also requires a clear understanding of exactly who is an existing or potential customer of that service provider. This, in turn, requires the service provider to understand the wider context of the current and potential marketplaces that the service provider operates in. Or may wish to operate in, irrespective of the context in which the service provider operates, its service strategy must also be based upon a clear recognition of the existence of competition, awareness that each slide has choices, and a view of how that service provider will differentiate itself from the competition. All service providers need a service strategy. The first book in ITIL V3 core publications, or the first phase of service management lifecycle, service strategy, provides that guidance to service providers. The key role of this lifecycle phase is to stop and think about why something has to be done before thinking how.